Hey y'all, hey. Happy Friday. Woo, 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 go shorty. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your, okay, I'm sorry. Birthday's tomorrow, but we're celebrating today. Y'all come on in the room. Come on in the room. We got Queen. Araceli, Boxiana, De La Ratchet, Dominus up in here this evening, y'all. And it's her birthday tomorrow. Brand, how are Yay. you? Yay! I feel drunk. How are you? I feel drunk already. Oh, God. All right, you told me not to drink this shit. I'm put down. Okay, no, I'm not. Hi, y'all. Hey! Hey, friend. Hey, How you doing? I'm great. How are you doing today? I feel like I ain't seen you all week, but I talked to you just Every not day. too long ago. Mm-hmm. I know. Every day. It's weird, mm-hmm. but I haven't seen you all week. Friend, you look so cute with your crown. I love it. Thank you. I just got off of work, so I had to come home and do something because I didn't have time to do no face. So we ain't face. We just, I threw my little crown up here. This is my baby's prom crown. And yeah, baby, it is. It you really don't need is. face, honey. You have natural um, face. Okay, yeah, you have natural you. face, honey. Thank you very much, friend. Yeah, you looking up. real cute. I see you went and sat down in somebody's chair. Well, listen, I had to go get my. You know, it's raining, y'all. Y'all didn't know in the Dallas, Houston area, it's been raining cats and dogs. And, you know, my fro and my natural don't do right in humidity and whatnot. So I had to go get her stitched on up and out the way. Yeah, out the way. Because, listen, not only is it a festive day because your birthday is tomorrow, it's festive in general here in the Houston metropolitan area because it's a lot going on, okay? We got Astros playing game one, go Strolls. And then we have three huge homecomings this weekend okay it's two hbcu homecomings it's tsu texas southern's homecoming prairie view a and m homecoming they 45 minutes away and my my alma mater you know big u of h our homecoming is this weekend too so we got the trifecta going on plus the world series plus the rain plus boxiana's birthday it's a lot going on this weekend okay and we came on early so my friend, I'm going to put this on her, y'all, so my friend can get in them streets because she want to get in them streets because it's her birthday. And I kind of want to get in them streets too because. And my friend got a whole lot of stuff to do. So we came in here with y'all early and to hang out with y'all and talk about all of this good stuff that's been going on so the streets can be salt. Before we before we get into all of that, y'all, please show my friend some birthday love on her cash app. Y'all see her cash app? It's Queen Dollar Sign Queen Pretty. Pretty me? Is it pretty me? Me. M E. Okay, take out your I'm, I'm gonna just put it in the thing. Can you pin it? Um, yeah, I think so. I don't know if I, I can pin it, friend. You know, I don't know how to do all this. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I'll just put it in there. Put it in the chat. Y'all heard her cash app is Queen Pretty Me. Okay. Hit her up. Shoot her a couple of few couple of coins in her cash app. Okay. All right. Y'all come on in the room. I know we're a little bit early. Hope you had your notifications on. I did post in the community so you guys could know we were coming on a tad bit early today. So y'all come on in the room. What's up, Kevin Sims the second? Oh, oh Cl- hey, oh Cliff Sims, how you doing? My um, Miami Snoopy 305 Lipson. Okay, y'all, I'm a little tongue-tied. It's homecoming weekend, and we've been drinking. And we've been drinking. Bear with us, okay? Yeah. Happy birthday, Miss innocent mm-hmm. eric 415 king corleone how you doing moni brown happy birthday boxiana queen el chivo how you doing pablo escobar big ray hey big ray miami snoopy he says drop your cash app in the chat mrs innocent mm-hmm. i am innocent of all charges 
Okay. Um, Frank from the land, thank you for coming through. Karma girl. <laughs> Karma says happy birthday, Araceli. Yay. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I really was going to come to see, you know what, one this Sunday, I'm coming here with my little eyebrows and my straight hair. I'm going to fuck y'all up for real. Y'all going to be like, what the hell? I didn't know you could look like that. And I can. And I can. You're not going to come in here with no small eyebrows. I want to bet? I I I'm going to get the watch. I rebuke You're going to be like, friend. Mm, I am. Okay. Brian Jones. Hey, Miss Jackie. Hey, Keisha Sellers. How you doing today? Hey, Makita. How you doing? Mm -hmm, yeah, Makita. I ain't never seen you in here. How you doing? These ladies actually have more knowledge on boxing than the whole... Mm. I didn't know they were saying it. Oh, uh, Makita, don't be like that. Don't you be like that, Makita. Come on in the room, but don't you be like that. King Corleone, opulent LD, uh, phenomenal Mexican. What's up, Shaquille? How you doing, girl? Oh, here she go. PV, you know. You hush. A condo. Sami Hassan. Happy birthday, my beautiful queen, Boxiana. The menace. Yes, she is. Yes, yes, she is. Boxing gym. How you doing? Who else we got in here? Yes, she there. Let me see if I can if I can pin it. Okay. Boom. boom. Did they do it? No. Did they pin it? I did mm -hmm. something. Y'all, thank y'all. I don't know so much, y'all. Cause my my thing is coming down and I can't see, but I can see. I don't want to, I got, I don't have nothing on my face so I can cry and not worry about nothing, but I've been really emotional lately because I'm getting old and my baby is growing up. So yeah, I'm a young old though. You know what I'm saying? But thank y'all. I see y'all in the drop down. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. Yeah. I hook my friend up all show. Hook her up, hook her up. Okay. Uh, who else we got? We got Terrence Chavis, TZ Frank, Tanaris Robinson. Who else? Big Ray, back up in here, all around strong. How you doing? Hey, Jason, how you doing? Looky, looky. We come in, Queens. Yay. Come on, come on, come on in the room. What's up, Brittany? Ra Holman, how you doing? Jackie, back up in here. Happy birthday, Boxiana. I have a love hate relationship with that damn cash app. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey, Jackie, girl, you, my, you know what? It's not just you. It's everybody. Don't feel bad, girl. Don't feel bad. It is. Big snack pack up off in this thing. You know what? Can't nobody say nothing bad about big snack pack to me because he is loyal to the So He going to be up in here every Friday, and I appreciate that. Happy fucking birthday. That's what I'm talking about. Kenneth Johnson, him McLean too, JV. Y'all come on in the room. Hey, Edgar Chavez. Hey, same fight, different round. How you doing? It's a lot of people in here I'm seeing for the first time. Thank y'all. I, I appreciate these comments from the new folks. How y'all doing? Come on in the room. Look, yeah. we ain't even started talking boxing yet. Yeah. Y'all yeah. come on in the room. I see you eat your little U of H cup. It's going down. Okay. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Yeah, it's homecoming. It's homecoming. Okay, so look, y'all, y'all in here because y'all know, y'all know we got some stuff to talk about, right? Okay. When you want to get into what they want to get into, or you want to go over these little weigh ins for this weekend, you know, we do have fights. Let's, let's hit, yeah, we got fights. Let's hit the weigh ins and then we'll get the juice at the end of the show. Okay. All right. Let's see, train. Is it Trey Wayne or train? Salute to mothers of men. Salute LDBC Nation. We got our game from a woman. You better come on and, and tell the people. Tell the people. Tell the people. Hey, Kenzie, how you doing? Okay, so look. It's the return of Lomachenko. Okay. We have finally the return of Lomachenko. He's been away. Some say he's been away at war. Uh, I can't confirm or deny what kind of war he was in if he was in the war i don't know but lomachenko is returning and he's gonna fight a, a man named jermaine now i ain't never i i don't 
the only Jermaine's I know tend to be black American folks. This is the first time I've ever seen a Jermaine of Latino descent. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't. I know there are some, but this is the first one. That makes me wonder. Jermaine Ortiz looked like I saw him in the way in, friend. Did you see him in the way in? I saw him in his little way in. How did you I, see him? I heard he wasn't like just nothing to push over. I heard he is um, some stiff, stiff, stiff competition. And I don't know. Loma been punching water. He looked like Loma, but Jermaine had a statement to be made and he was going to make his statement. I was like, oh, okay, sir. Is that what we give it? If we, if we give it, I'm going to beat your ass? What, what, kind, what is this energy that you come out here with? And I've been looking at everybody talk about him and I was like, oh, um, he is that guy. And then the fight came about where they reminded me that he fought my friend. <laughs> and then I had to go back and think about the fight with my friend. And I said, oh, that's him. So all I can say is I, I hope Loma has punched enough pool water to get him ready. Did you see him in that pool punching that water? No. He got some little thing, like little open crates that the water can flow in and out on his hands, and he punching in the pool. Sir, come on out. He has such innovative out. training. He, it's a lot that he does that's really strange to me. I don't like the dots. How he was doing? I don't like. Was what, what is the dots doing? All the laser the stuff that that feeds into the name of the Matrix. That's all that's doing. That's feeding into them calling him the Matrix. I ain't crazy. I see what you're doing over there, Lomachenko. I see. I see. It's what you're giving doing. too much. It's giving. I feel like doing that type of shit to get you beat up. Cause it's not. What does it convert to? Like, I mean, coordination. I, I don't guess. Know. Accuracy, maybe. Ah, who knows? All I know is I don't like it, and I hope that it helps him with Jermaine, cause the pool water workouts to me just there's certain stuff that I don't like. That ain't doing it for you. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not at all. Not even a tiny little bit. I don't like it. Um, you know, we always say that the fight starts on the scale. Uh, both men came in right under 135, right at 134 point something and such and such. Loma, to me, doesn't look his best physically at 135 because he's naturally smaller. So he's not normally, you know, ripped and tight and cut at 135. Meanwhile, Maine over there looking like, whoa, Maine. His body was tight and ripped. He's, I think he's younger, much younger because, you know, we have to remind ourselves that Loma has a lot of wear, wear and tear um, mm -hmm. on his trade. You know, he, he got a kajillion amateur fights and he started professionally boxing older than, than most folks. So he got a little wear and tear on those tires. And so I hope it, this is not a uh, Tom Brady like situation where we watch him in real time uh, age a little bit in the ring. You know, they want to give him a pass for that T.O. loss because he was hurt, allegedly. But I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. I, don't I know. still don't. I don't know. I know he looked like himself when he fought Nakatani. But we don't see because what I do really feel like is this is not a, um, this is not a, a tune-up fight. Turf. Jermaine Ortiz is not a tune-up fight for to me for anybody. This man is trying to make his mark while he can, and if he can possibly do that against Lomachenko, what better way than to formally announce yourself to one thirty-five? No, that's they're not gonna give him credit for beating Loma because Loma they're gonna say Loma was old. Oh yeah. We shall. He was out of the ring too long, which he just fought. Who did he fight? Nakatani, I Nakatani. believe. Nah, I think he's fought some. Was it somebody else? 
don't know. I think it was a guy after Nakatani, but I ain't sure. Maybe Nakatani was the last one. I'm not sure either. Uh, if y'all know in the chat, a long time. He's been gone for a, a, a little minute. A little minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you I don't know. See. He gonna be rusty. I believe he's gonna be a little rusty, but you know he's Lomachenko the Matrix. So Loma Lomachenko. Uh, he's gonna have his hands full. I, I'll say that I'll give him that much. He's not coming back taking a soft touch, and we'll talk about soft touches a little bit later on when we touch on Terrence Bud Crawford. Um, okay, moving right along. Um, all around strong says happy birthday, Boxiana. Life is good. Yes, Thank it you. is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And we have some other. Super Chats, train back. He says, the water exercise increases his punch speed using water resistance. Bruce Lee introduced this, and Muhammad Ali implemented this conditioning tool also. You know what? I do remember the photograph with Muhammad Ali at the bottom of the pool in his trunks punching. I didn't see what Loma was doing, but thank you for the explanation, train. We appreciate that. Thank you very kindly. Also, we have Ra Holman. He says, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. he Yeah, that's right. He did uh, fight Kome and beat up on Richard Kome. Okay. Yeah, that was the last fight. And to leave Cunningham, he says, happy birthday on your 23rd birthday and many more. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, on Lunder, uh, Loma's undercard, we're going to also get to see, speaking of Muhammad Ali, his grandson, Nico Ali Walsh. He's going to be on the undercard. And um, who else is going to be on that undercard? I don't like mayonnaise, Ali. Ma'am? Lightning bread, Ali. Macaroni, no cheese, Ali. Raisins and potato salad, Ali. I don't like none of them. None of it. I don't know what warehouse worker is he work is he knocking out this week. No, I'm gonna put myself on mute. Okay. No, we want you to. We want you to. <laughs> You know what would make me probably feel better about um, me? You know what would make me feel a little better? If he came in the ring yesterday, y'all see my braids are they're neat, they're nice, they're tied like I just got them done. Now, I know he's a boxer and he don't want fresh, fresh braids because, you know, that'll be hurting and it'll be a little tight or something. But if he comes in there again tomorrow with them braids that look like he took a brush and went backwards on the on the Against the grain on them, I'm going to be mad all over again. I'm going to be mad. Well, go ahead and get mad because he going to brush them bitches for show. It's because his hair does not belong braided. You know why Hayden don't wear braids? Because his hair don't braid. It's, caucus, it's Caucasian Mountains caucus. That's what it is. It can't go in braids. He now, there's some folks that can braid their hair that of, are of those mountains. But there are some people that cannot, and he is one of them. He cannot braid his hair. It don't belong braided. He needs a comb over. He needs the Leo Santa Cruz. That's what his hair does. It Leo Santa Cruz's. You can look at it and tell. And if it wasn't for the fact that they got that goddamn brush and brushed them damn braids. In the opposite they, direction of the braids. In the opposite direction. He had just got them braids done before the fight. Oh, gosh. They brushed them. Even Sean Porter shit don't look like that. And I don't like his shit either. I'm going to come away. 88 Sports Talk. He says, happy birthday, Boxiana, and hi to the lovely Nick J. Hey, 88 Sports Talk. Thank you so much for coming through. We appreciate it. BFTV Boxing back up in this. He says, happy 21st birthday to my beautiful menace, Boxiana. 
Happy birthday, friend. <laughs> That's, I'm not laughing because now I'm thinking about it and I'm getting mad. I want to talk to the PR people because the people watch. I want y'all to know that's not making him look more eilish. It's it's making him look potato salad and raisins, carrots, and blue cheese. Plain and blue cheese. I like blue cheese. I love blue cheese, but not in potato salad. No, no. But it's giving those potatoes that they make. You know the ones I'm talking about. We know. Okay. Those. I don't know what's why. Why did they do his? Why did they do his hair like that? I don't know what that is. I don't. I don't know what that they is. They really about. want him to be black. The man ain't black, y'all. I'm sorry. That they can make. They, no, his grandfather no. is. My that ain't father. his granddaddy. Have you seen Rashida? Is white. I didn't seen that woman. Okay. I'm going to turn myself off. V-Rock says, happy birthday, Boxiana, and salute to the queens. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Mo, it's giving casserole. It's get, yeah. Tuna casserole. Okay. Potatoes, you know, the ones. Okay. 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 So then there's another fight. Okay. Well, there's an early fight. Too, you guys, if you're, you, you know, if y'all are going to be up and in the house on Saturday afternoon, um, there's a fight over in UK that uh, some of y'all might want to catch. Katie Taylor is fighting tomorrow. Um, but after that bomb ass UK card we got a couple of weeks ago with the women, I don't know if anybody really going to be checking for Katie like that. I don't know. We'll see. But Katie is also fighting. I didn't look at that undercard, so I can't really give y'all much on that because I wasn't really that interested. Um, friend, did you see that? Did you have anything on that? I don't like her neck, so you know I didn't watch it. Alrighty, so best of luck to her, though. Best of luck to you, Katie. Best of luck. Luck. Um, no. Um, after Clarissa went over there and beat up on Savannah Marshall, there ain't no need to talk about them uh, ladies from the kitchen no more. They can go back to their kitchen house. And do their kitchen work and eat their fish and chips or whatever the fuck it is they be eating over there. That's what they can do. Baked beans in the morning with, with sausage. Why the fuck? Okay. Yeah. I, I ain't listen. Everybody's culture is fine with me. But how y'all eat beans in the morning? I want y'all. Y'all know for UK people, y'all fuck with us. So y'all going to come back and watch this shit in the morning. And I want y'all to answer a question. What is, what's with the beans in the morning? The baby. And what's that little black shit that y'all be eating? It, it's real, real. It's I don't know. I don't know. But y'all got some food over there that's real questionable. But I want y'all to come tell me what that shit is. And I know I'm describing it to you. You know what I'm talking about. It's some <laughs> little black shits. They circle. It's some kind of meat that y'all be eating. And I want to know what it is. I don't know. Leave it is. in the comments. I appreciate y'all. I don't, I don't know. See? See, Chris, Christian? You knew what I was talking about. What? I don't know what the fuck. Black that. pudding? Yes, it's I meat. I don't know. I don't See, know what it is. UK people, we love y'all. Salute to y'all. Thank y'all for coming in here to fuck with us. See, that's why we have that in here. So when we ask questions like that, they can, answer. They can come in here. Yeah. Respectfully. Because we didn't know. We didn't know what to call it. Correct. Um, you know what? Get his ass out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get him the on. The ain't gonna make me whoop his ass. Oh, I, I saw it. Little friends. I saw that, but I wasn't gonna say nothing. But I saw it. Mm -hmm. All his little friends boosting him up in the comments. He gotta leave y'all here. I keep telling y'all that. Quit hyping him up, cause he once y'all leave from here, he alone again. Ronnie Bravo says, happy birthday, Boxiana, with your 22-year-old looking self. Hello to you too, Nick J. Thank you, Ronnie Bravo. We appreciate you, Ronnie Bravo. Um, VJ, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. BFTV is back, and he says, them little black things are ladybug eyes and ground bowler, bowler, peen. That's real. Yeah.
nasty, but, but but the pudding is what it's called. And they really like it. They eat it a lot. Christian, what's with the beans while you're here? Tell me why y'all eat pork and beans. Because pork and beans is beans and weenies over here for us. Well, so y'all boxing and barbecue says he eats beans in the morning. You're not. You wear them, you wear plumber drawers too. We discussed this a couple of shows ago. I told y'all, and it's my birthday, y'all. It's my birthday. And we've been drinking. Okay. And we've been drinking. And we've been drinking. Don't don't do it tonight. Okay. He says it's a tradition. Christian said it's a tradition. I don't know. Okay, it's a tradition. Yeah, okay. they have their own little, you know, razzle dazzle on breakfast. Um salute to y'all. We ain't when we come over there. We not eating with y'all. We gonna pack our own food if they let us. No, we just I'm gonna pass on the beans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I don't know. pass on the beans. No beans in the morning. No, thank you. We um, love y'all. We do. Right. We love the UK fans. We do. Thank y'all. Now we don't love the UK fans better than we do our American fans. Nah, we ain't we ain't budget. We ain't budget. Now, see, I wasn't gonna call no names. I wasn't gonna oh, well, call. Yeah, you ain't have to. You know, you, you don't have to, because we gotta talk about Budrick and his fat ass fucking trainer today. Anyway, we had a discussion offline, and we had said that oh. we was not okay. Do you want to even jump on Jake Paul and Anderson Silva? Jake Paul in three. Anderson Silva got kidney failure and liver disease and all kind of fucked up shit ain't no reason he finna he he finna take a dive anyway all righty um okay i'm hoping anderson silva is just not gonna get laid out and stretched out um but if we're talking about jake paul then i'm sure he probably has been paid to do so so good i want to get paid to get knocked out too for some Jake Paul money. Hmm. No, just excuse me for the commentary. Speaking of commentary, I'd like to throw my pitch out. Um, we're everybody's favorite podcast, and I just want y'all to tune in and tap in. Keep mentioning our name in places because the people have heard you. <laughs> and I do believe they're going to give y'all what y'all want, which is us in the mainframe. Live on five. Okay, live on five on your live TV screen. On okay. your TV screen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What's up, OTV? How you doing? Y'all come on in the room. Come on in the room. So speaking of live on your TV screen and whatnot, first, wait, before I go there, before I go there. Um, okay. did we pick a Loma winner along between Loma and Ortiz? Did we give our picks? I'm gonna go Loma because He's Bob's baby. It's going to go 12 rounds. Loma by decision? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm picking, I'm picking Loma. Um, and I want to say Loma by decision, but I think for the dramatics, they're going to make it. it I don't want to say they're going to make it, but for the dramatics, I'm going to say Loma stoppage in eleven. In 11. Um, Ortiz is going to give a valiant effort, but I think Loma is going to come through with a stoppage in 11. Um, now, so there's that. And uh, again, we both are picking Jake Paul by um, stoppage and money under the table. Okay. And so now we about to talk about what we really came in here to talk about. Okay. What's been brewing for the last week and a half. Okay. We're finna talk about BLK, Terrence Crawford, Adrian Bronner, and whatever else comes up as we dive as we dive into this. As we dive into this. Okay, so BLK, you know, kicked us all in the chest one time with a Timberland last week. And we learned that Terrence Crawford is having a, a so-called what did they say? Eight figure payday um, fighting on this app on December 10th. And it ain't going to be with him fighting Errol Spence. He fighting David Ebenezer. And we don't want that fight. But that's neither here or there. Okay. 
Then we find out that BLK Prime, it's what they're officially called. We're going to call them by their official name, BLK Prime. Had, we got rumblings that they were going to be having, uh, you know, big signings, big news to come. Big news is coming. We got a new signing. Well, who is it? We don't know. Who? Who? Who is it? And man, kudos to Blue because he had the anticipation on Kajillion that day. I was on his page waiting. He was telling us, to, you know, it's coming. It's happening. Y'all hold on. We got to see. He coming. He in the building. I was on the edge of my seat. It's like, who is it? And then the camera pans up. I see the BLK sign in the backdrop. They got an official sign, official branding sign. Now, I would have knocked the wrinkles out of that. I'd have knocked that, you know, I'd have ironed that out a little bit before I hung it. But that's just me. It was. It, he said it was on the spur of the moment. Okay. So who comes and sits in the banquet chair? Who comes and sits in the chair? Friend. Who came and sit in the chair? Friend. Adrian Bronner. All y'all's favorite. All y'all's favorite. Because y'all love. Love, A.B. Love. Love him. Now, the last Who? time. Who do? I Who? said them. 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 Because we, we've had our conversation. Them. They love Adrian. Okay. Last time, we were. Y'all were excited about Adrian. He was supposed to be fighting. Um. Um, Figueroa. Okay, perfect match, perfect matchup for him. Perfect, perfect matchup. After I saw the fight, I was like, "Oh man, this was this was this was heaven sent for AB." But AB, for some reason, well, no, we know the reason. He said he was having mental issues, and so for that reason, he pulled out of the fight with Figueroa. Okay, we ain't seen. A heard from Adrian, except for maybe a week later, he was back in the strip club somewhere. But that was neither here nor there. You know, we didn't know nothing about nothing that was going on with Adrian. I was just hoping he was okay. And then out pops Adrian and the beard at the table. Friend, what were your first initial thoughts when you saw that? What, what, what did you think about that? Adrian Broner. That's what I thought. How I said it just then. That's how I felt. What the fuck? But, okay. I, no, I'm going to be myself because I'm me. That's why we are the way we are. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't like it. Nobody should be investing their money in Adrian. I will not let my hands go. Bronner, Adrian, I can't get this shit right, Bronner. Adrian, I don't want to fight, Bronner. Adrian, all I want to do is spend money, Bronner. Adrian, I am a very big problem, Bronner. Nobody should want to spend money on him. Invest in anything. I told you, he needs to go. His skin looked a little white. Maybe he went in and was in one of those dark rooms with just a padded fucking wall where he needed to be months ago. Since something's wrong with did you get BDB2 upside the head too many damn times. But... If Blue like it, I like it. But what I'm going to say is the very first time, I mean, the very first time he get his ass up there and show his ass out in the interview, come on over to Queens of the Ring, Adrian. We would like to have a conversation. We are known to get the people right. And we're going to start with your ass. The first time he fuck up, I'm going to grill him like barbecue. I'm going to grill him like my daddy used to grill in the 90s. Smokehouse burgers. I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> I mean every fucking word that I say. I'm going to grill his ass really bad. The very first time he throw a hissy fit. The first time he don't want to fight, he get out there and he don't throw his hands. I'm gonna talk about his ass. There, this uh, the line that he owned. This thing, 
How, how this thin. thin. This thin. That's how thin his fucking line is. He ain't got no time to fuck up or smokehouse burgers. That's what his new goddamn name is going to be. I'm not bullshitting. Every time we have to mention Adrian Broner, y'all going to regret it. You going to regret it. I am. The same way you sitting over there laughing right now, you going to be like that the whole fucking time because I'm going to just bring shit out of my imagination to say about his ass. He better do what the fuck he, for Blue to take time to put some shit in motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, we family around this bitch. So for family to have taken time to put some shit into works for somebody I know ain't going to do right. I wish they would have contacted me first because I would have said, hell no. Remember what Remember what Sophia said to the mayor's wife? I said, hell no. What you say to the mayor's wife? I said, <laughs> hell no. You don't invest no money into Adrian Broner. Because he ain't going to do right. And there's no fucking accountability there. Because he sit up and he don't do right. And then everybody else is the motherfucking blame. Sound like somebody else I know. But it's we'll talk person. about him in a second. In, in a cool second. Because I'm, I'm going to read these super chats and I'm going to give my take on that situation and then we're going to move along. Broken Dangerous, thank you so much for coming through. He popping bottles for you, friend. He popping bottles for you. And 93 North, wait a minute, 93 in Riches Entertainment, thank you. He says, happy birthday, queen. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you, thank you for coming through. And do we have any more? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. So, yeah, y'all, I don't want to say I was disappointed when he sat down. I think I was more shocked than anything because I, I just thought he had crawled back into his man cave and just was doing whatever Adrian Bronner does when he ain't on social media and acting a fool. I was hoping at the very least that he was getting himself together and maybe that's what he was doing. I try real hard to look at the glass half full in most scenarios, but it's hard for me to do that with Adrian because he's a screwball <clears throat> in the words of my daddy. He's just a screwball. He, he finds a way to fuck it off every time. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's about. Um, but he finds a way to be a screwball. I hope since Blue is involved that, you know, he does what he says he's going to do. That, that's, that's, that's all I can hope for at this point. I'm not asking him to do nothing that he said he wasn't going to do. I'm only hoping and wishing, praying and wanting him to do what he said he was going to do. If these folks then went out on the limb, they've gone out on the limb to to help you and help you jumpstart your shit back over again after you shit it on opportunity after opportunity that was given to you by your previous employer i mean you know i hope he does what he says he's going to do okay that's that's about as i that's as that's as, that's as much as i have on the situation he, um, you know, he says he's motivated again. I hope he is. I hope he is. Um, it was kind of odd and strange that they gave him a three fight deal. I can't tell you the last time I saw him fight consecutively three times, like in a normal boxer's time frame. I don't know when the last time he did that. I, I'm not sure when the last time it was that he did that. I don't know. All I know is that I hope for the sake of, BLK and Blue, who is co-signing this and excited about this, that he does what he says he's going to do. That that's that's what I hope. That that is what my hope for all of that is. Um, what's up, Mr. Mind? We got Mr. Mind in the chat. He says, 
now him and Bud, Bud is all of a sudden. Happy birthday, Boxiana, and salute to you, Nick J. Thank you. Right. You know, I just I found that kind of odd and strange. And, and I caught all the subliminals in his interview as well. Um, it was short and sweet and to the point. But I caught all those subliminals that he threw in that interview. You know, I'm worried about me. I'm holding my own dick. All that old ignorant shit. I caught that. I caught all of it. And, and, and I see how, you know, I, I caught that. Let me just say that. I don't know what nobody's personal relationships are anymore. But I know they probably ain't what they used to be. Okay, I'll say that. That motherfucker bullshit. And blue and gay the bitch audience. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. None of that shit. For years, I don't like, listen, you're wasting your money. Whatever advance you gave him, give it, get it back fast. For him to come in there and sit in that chair, get it back. Because that's all you finna get out of him, just a fucking bunch of bullshit ass problems. Nah, fuck that shit. No. No, 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 no. No? No. No. Okay. No. I need to stop you. I'm there's certain words I'm trying to stop using. I'm gonna retract one of my statements. It all runs together and run out. But I, my standing still stays the same. He's a waste of money, time, and interest. Okay. Yeah, feed him some beans and some of that shit that they be eating in the UK. Cause that's I he out of shape. Did you see him when he got up? Didn't you see him when he walked up there? He need a nutritionalist. He need an L. Fuck that friend. A nutritionist can't do it by themselves. He need a nutritionalist. Somebody that's going to help him. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, you mute yourself right now today. Sheena says, happy birthday, Boxiana, and enjoy your day. Many blessings. Sheena, she up here cutting up Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I, Nurse Lee came through. She said, happy birthday, Boxiana. How you doing, Nurse Lee? Yeah, I... Mm. He looked like he just got up out of whatever he was laying in. Said, look, I got to go out here and do this real quick. Well, can we just talk about one thing, though? Go for it, friend. Can we talk about one thing? Because... We're not going to be up here long, y'all, but but we do have to talk about this one thing, and it's a segue into our last little old topic, uh, topic of the evening. For for all the shit that we giving AB right now, and we're not really giving shit, we're just telling the truth, but for everything that we're saying about him, the one thing I will give him credit for is actually getting on a platform and associating himself with the platform. Okay. He actually came in. He actually sat down. He's actually acknowledging the fact that he is doing business with BLK. I can't say that for the biggest fight that they promoting. I, I can't say that for their count, his counterpart, his stable mate, Terrence Bud Crawford. They gave him $25 and a box of wings. <sighs> but he showed <laughs> up, though. But he showed up, though. He yeah. actually it showed don't take up. Much, so what? But where's Budrick? Where where's is Budrick? But I'm calling for Budrick, Anthony, Dwayne, Crawford. Why have you not acknowledged your new partnership? Why haven't you posted about it? Why hasn't your sister said nothing? Why has she not talked about it? She is she talking about, about BLK? It. Is she talking about the fight? Is she promoting oh, it? Has she put oh, it on her social media platform? Where's the poster? Oh. I went to the BLK <laughs> um, um, website and I went to pay per view and I see this big ass. You know, nice black and gold poster looking flyer thing with him, David Evanesian. It, it, it has Omaha, Nebraska. Now, granted, they didn't put the right abbreviation for Nebraska, but fuck it. Whatever. They trying. It's a new upstart and they ain't have no editing program, apparently. Whatever. 
But why come that's not on your social media? Why come that's not on your, your folks' social media? Why, why is nobody okay. pubbing it? Why we ain't heard nothing from Bowman? Why we ain't heard nothing? I from mean, they had an initial flyer. They haven't had, like, they're not having did their press conferences and stuff yet. So I'm just going to say it's still kind of early. November the 1st is next week. The fight is the 10th. That's like five, six weeks away. They still give them about a week. Let them gather their bearings. And then if they don't have their shit in a week, then we ask where Bud is. We're giving Bud the benefit of the doubt. I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I try. I'm not. Well, you okay. can you can give Bud the benefit, and I give A B the benefit. He not getting my benefit of the doubt because he's an active fighter. He's an active fighter just that just walked away from a, a deal that's been in the works for six damn months. You gonna you gonna not, girl? Let me breathe because I was finna really do some damage. If you walk away from a deal that's been in the making for six months. In order to take a tune-up fight at a little-known app, and you not promoting, but you made the announcement, you okayed the announcement, I got a problem with that. I got a big, big, big problem with that. Because you you, you like to talk and say everything. I just, it all stinks and, reek, and reeks. To me, something ain't right. It's some something ain't right about this. I don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it, but something is not right with any of this. And the only thing that I can say coming away from this is that I can applaud Adrian Broner for at least taking the time out of his day to sit down and acknowledge the people who he is in partnership with. You're giving him too much credit. I ain't giving him credit. I'm giving him what he's doing. Nope, nope, nope. That ain't credit. That's just what you do when you're trying to do. When you're doing business with somebody. Why has this man not even uttered a word? About what does Bud ever promote, though, friend? He don't really promote shit. He didn't even really promote that fight with Sean Porter. Everybody else did. Okay, well, his everybody else ain't even done it yet. Give them about a week. They just started, friend. They just started. But that's what we were in. But we're giving BLK Prime the benefit of the doubt. Not Bud. Okay? I'm not, I'm not right? faulting them at all. I'm okay, so they behind the production. This is all on Budrick. What I'm what I'm speaking on is directed towards Budrick. All of this is direct, directed toward Terrence, Dwayne, Budrick, Anthony Crawford. This is all going his way. Because now your ass is quiet. You got your ass up on your platform and, and not on your platform, but you gave this so-called interview. And I'm saying you did it because you ain't came out and said you didn't do it. You gave this interview to Coppinger talking about Earl Spence just didn't want to fight as much as I did. Really? 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 Because then we get audio. We got some audio this week. So we did. We got some audio this week. We did. They painted a completely different picture. Now, the audio from whence we speak was from Errol Spence Jr. Now, granted, it was a little choppy. You know, my boy got a strong southern twang. Strong southern twang. But the gist of what he was saying was that your boy Bud wasn't confident in his attorneys. Sir, really? This was this was 
up until like what not even a month ago because apparently this was when spence had just come back from disneyland with his kids that wasn't that long ago in his mind this fight is about to be made that's what he's thinking it's been dragging on for six months by this time he's thinking it's happening early january but this man is asking questions and want to speak directly to Al Heyman. You can't do that. You not signed to PBC. Al is not your advisor. You don't get to request no motherfucking meeting with Al Heyman. Who are your people? You have your people get with his people. And if you don't trust your people, that's your damn fault. So... Hmm, which refers me back to what I said last week when I said he don't, tr him and Bo Mac, there's no communication there. Bo Mac is doing the fucking talking. Bo Budrick can't trust the attorneys because the attorneys talk to the goddamn Bo Mac, not fucking Budrick. Y'all looking at the wrong fucking people. Everybody got their own dynamics of how they looking at this whole situation. My whole concentration. And y'all can blame black, blame black for how I feel about this shit. Because what Black said was, Bo Mac. Bo Mac it's his got opinion. the goddamn deal and at ESPN. ESPN. And show what he said. And what he said. And he don't say it just a little bit. He stands on that hill. He means what the fuck he said. He said... Bomac got that fucking deal. When Budrick was getting ready to fight Manny Pacquiao, it was Bomac that said the money wasn't motherfucking good. It wasn't moving fast enough. He had a motherfucking excuse. Every time you turned around, this Errol Spence fight, I just came here and told y'all, Bomac motherfucking ass was saying, we got something he want, he can make sacrifices. What did you want, Bomac? I want to know the meal fucking number, friend. There's some food fucking involved in that goddamn contract. It was some underlining food that Bud wouldn't know nothing about. Because Bud just like, okay, I'm finna get fucking paid. Bo Mac, do your job. You got me this ESPN deal. You, I ask you, If I'm Bud, I'm thinking he gonna do this shit again. Not knowing the shit he got me in that motherfucking ESPN was some bullshit. Because Bud ended up complaining about Bob anyway in the fucking end. So, Bo Mac got him into that bullshit, got him out of the Manny motherfucking Pacquiao fight, because the money ain't moving fast enough. And here we are again, another fucking big fucking fight, and the meal allowance ain't motherfucking right. Maybe he wanted a chocolate milk and a Diet Coke. Maybe they were just offering the chocolate milk. Maybe the Diet Coke was too much. Maybe they offered the Diet Coke and the chocolate milk was just too fucking expensive because he didn't want you who He wanted the shit that they had, the, the Pilgrim Pride shit. He wanted the shit from the top row. Borden, Borden, Borden. The Borden milk. The Borden Dutch. Dutch chocolate. Borden Dutch. So, the, the shit ain't adding up. Do you not trust your fucking lawyers? That's or what, do you not trust the man that's smuggling snacks up on his fucking titties and his rolls in the movies? Which one? <laughs> do you you want to go to a movie? Take him with you. You ain't got to pay for shit. You put two burgers on this to come back here. It's my birthday. You don't get to leave me on my birthday. Come back. He could too, put bags of chips under the fucking TV, everything, crackers. He probably fit a damn box of popcorn up in that bitch somewhere. He probably stuffed that shit in his belly button. Either one or two. Either fucking way you go, my theory still stands. It ain't the fact that motherfucking Bud don't touch, trust his attorneys. He don't trust the motherfucker that's negotiating for him. And he ain't said this shit for a while because the last three motherfucking fights that was big that Bud was supposed to be in, for some reason, 
he didn't up end up in that bitch. So mm, all I'ma say is Bud might want to check his belly button. He might got some shit hid up in there. Okay. <laughs> Knock my goddamn crown off. She is fucking around with that goddamn belly button. Goddamn smuggling children in that bitch. <sighs> Piss me off. Because I already know all of this shit got to do with fucking Bo Mag. Y'all can blame Bud. I'm not mad at Bud. <gasps> nah, Bud ain't gonna sit there and do nothing. Bud probably signed that goddamn David Evanesha shit himself. Bo Mag didn't even know shit about it. Bo Mag still waiting for them to sign the fucking Spence contract. <sighs> Telling you he ain't talked to goddamn Bo Mac all fucking month. He said, fuck it, I'm finna go sign this goddamn contract. Check Ooh. his belly button. It's in there. <laughs> Y'all going to hell for laughing. The shit is not fucking funny. <laughs> you said it. That's why your ass over there laughing so hard. Because you don't know how to control yourself. You always saying messed up shit. Why you say that? <sighs> y'all oh you better be careful he might try to put you in his belly button when we try to go meet with them shit oh god y'all who i'm reading super chats i don't have nothing else to say for the rest of the damn dre's fine and said yeah salute young ladies and happy birthday boxiana who what's up kqkc how you doing how you doing oh my goodness gracious y'all i can't breathe oh Everything boxing. How you doing? He says, happy birthday, queen. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, what's wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this lady? What is wrong with this one? Oh, Budrick's in the house. What's up, drink more water? Drink says, happy birthday, Boxiana. Tell Uncle Ab. Y'all, if y'all don't know, this person here is drink more water. We tend to think he's probably bud but he's bud's biggest fan and he says tell uncle al to open that piggy bank giving that juiced up mexican his whole budget but the black man gotta be reasonable not the canelo slander not not the canelo slander not on my birthday budget i absolutely not what you need to do is worry about blk prime and what's gonna happen over there right because what you need to go do is tell your trainer to open this belly button bag and give you that real fucking Spence contract so he can send it back because he fucking ate it because the food wasn't right. That's what you do, Budget. All righty. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not crying no more tonight. I'm not. Um, Miami says, speaking of Bo Mac, whose corner do you think he's going to be in on December 10th? Bud or Keisha? So glad you brought that up. So Keep I said that was gonna be our last topic, but it ain't though. Look, friend. So apparently, Bud is supposed to be fighting on December 10th, allegedly on BLK in Nebraska. So they say. But there's also another card on that very day that has been super duper stacked. And this is the card of his former promotional company, Top Rank, over on ESPN. Now, Terrence's trainer, who Boxiana loves to death, Brian Bo Mac McIntyre, he trains not only Terrence Crawford, but he also trains a young up-and-comer boxer, up-and-coming boxer, Keyshawn Kiki Davis. Now, both of these people are fighting on the same date, allegedly. Friend, whose corner do you think he's going to be in? Keyshawn Sassy Davis. <clears throat> and why? The sad master. Mr. I got somebody for you, Earl. Him. Him downstairs wants some cookies. Him. Turn you come out there with the frilly shit on this goddamn clothes. <laughs> 
Turn your we mic really off. gonna have something to talk about December the twelfth. Cause I the got eleventh. Some... The eleventh. It's, it's gonna be the, the day after. Cause mm -hmm. he come out there that friendly shit. I'm I'm gonna wanna know why he was so much. Only person that could wear that shit and get away with it. I don't know. His shit was real short. Boot shit just be frilly. Yeah, boots like that. That man got on really uniform. They said cut my mic off. I'm a... Is that what they said? Cut it off? Okay. Let, let, let me read the super chat. Let me read the super chat. I ain't lying about a lie. He says the Spence deal fell through because Bud went in there on some race stuff. I need to be paid in singles. It's exactly. Exactly. I need to be paid in singles. I don't have no bank account. That kind of shit. Yeah. 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 I, I yes. Yes. I, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there for all of that. No, I ain't gonna cut her mic off. I'm gonna let her live. This is her birthday, honey. She's gonna do her thing. Ma'am, don't have your lip poked out. Mm -mm, don't be like that. I ain't go no, I'm I'm just gonna see her because no. I probably didn't say a whole lot of stuff. I ain't gonna remember tomorrow. I can't wait for you to watch this back. I can't oh, wait. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. Cause I know I didn't say some really, really messed up stuff. Dear Lord. Did it was bad? It, it was, was bad. bad. No, it was you. It was okay, you. well, I need to go harder then. Cause what that means is I didn't say enough. No, you, you, you yeah. did. You did. You, you did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Still, blame yeah. Bo That's the slogan for the rest of the year. Blame. I'm going to get a t shirt. You know, my I'm big on my t shirts. My t shirt going to say, Blame Bo I'm not bullshitting. I got it. It's just, it's inevitable. Because the more I sit and think about it, it just makes logical sense. Bo Mag been doing this shit for himself because he had a failed ass boxing career. If you want to see Bo Mag's failed ass boxing career, if you got Instagram, just go check out our Instagram. He got knocked out by a, a country uh, Pavekin. Um, flew, and he had his shirt off. Um, okay. You see that belly button for yourself? Mute, 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 mute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Good. I know you probably getting your homecoming on too this weekend. Y'all, I, 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 I'm going to answer Miami's question because I, I think that is a very interesting one. I think he's going to be in Keyshawn Davis's corner, but I think he's going to be in Keyshawn Davis's corner because I don't think something in my spirit is telling me that that fight is not going to happen for Bud on December 10th. I don't think he's I don't for some for some reason my mind is saying that that fight is not going to happen. Um, after seeing the backlash from him deciding to make that fight, um, after hearing the audio of Errol Spence Jr. saying that he was thinking the fight was going to happen early January, if there is any 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 chance in hell that those two ever fight each other it's going to be in january and so that's what i'm hoping for because i actually am a person who really does still want to see the fight even with all the bullshit and shenanigans that have happened in the last week i would still like to see that fight and for some reason the folks over at blk seem to think that spence would be open to still trying to make that fight after he fights on blk if that man goes and makes that fight on BLK, there's no chance that he's making that fight with Spence. There's no chance that Spence or his team is going to go back to negotiate with him after he gave him, um, um, flipped him the bird to go to go fight at BLK I, with no warning. I, I just don't believe that. So if he could possibly sever anything with the fight against Spence, he'd better do it now. And so I'm going to jump out and say that I don't think that fight happens at BLK. On December 10th. He may fight on that app later, afterward, or something like that. But if he cares anything about his legacy, if he cares anything about his reputation, he's gonna make that fight happen with Errol Spence Jr. and it's gonna happen in January, like that audio scene. Anything other than that is uncivilized 
and it tarnishes him in a terrible way. That's that's how I feel about that. Um, they that mistake. Fuck that. Fuck but fuck Bomek and all that shit. I'm gonna tell you what's funny and strange to me. What Bud is fighting some bullshit, and all of Arrow's mandatory have invoked themselves for each of them fucking belts that he got. They want the smoke. They think. But they want the smoke. Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is the name that is ringing the bell the most because that's the fight that PBC wants to see. That's the fight that they've been trying to make forever. If Keith Thurman fights Errol Spitz Jr. right now, with all that anger and tension he got for Bud, the bag is coming. The collapse. He's gonna, bag. he's gonna spend a few nights in the hospital and then they're gonna send him home with that bag because his insides gonna be entangled up on themselves because he already can't take nobody shots. I don't give a fuck how much. Have you seen Errol? He you doing yoga with Frank Martin. I ain't never seen him do. No fucking yoga. What the fuck you where what's going on? Yoga. Somebody is finna get their ass boom squad. That's what my boys call themselves. They finna get their ass boom squad. You know what? That was another reason why I had that thought in my head that for this small window of time, Arrow Spence is still wanting that fight and thinking about um you know continuing negotiations with that fight because of what i saw that what that footage that you're talking about he and frank martin were working out and he was working out in that t-shirt where he's knocking on the big fish the shark is knocking on that terrence bill crawford door so to me that that made me feel like he's he he's he hey, listen i'm trying to give you one more chance dog i still want this fight my guy um you might want to rethink some decisions you just made. You know, you could fight on BLK after this ass whooping that you finna take when you fight me. You can do that. But the same way you put me on ice, you probably want to put them on ice and go ahead and finish these negotiations that you started first. That's the only reason why. That's the small sliver of hope that I have that this fight may still happen is because he had that T-shirt on. He had that T-shirt on. So I'm still calling you to the square, my guy. But if you go over there and you fight on December 10th, that's it and that's all. That's it and that is all. That's it and that's all. Now, the one last thing I want to talk about, if this fight does not transpire, if it doesn't happen and Bud fights on the 10th and Arrow decides to move away from it, where do you think Arrow moves? Does he move up? Does he stay at 147 and oblige one of his mandatories? How do you see that playing out? Drop them fucking belts and make the motherfuckers fight for them. Fuck it. Go up to 154. Plenty of smoke. Stay away from Tony Harrison. Fight everybody else. I, fight everybody else. Just don't fight Tony Harrison. I don't know, everybody else can get their rounds. I, that's all good. That's okay. Brian Sano. I want to see him and Magamel. Him and Magamel would make my my joyous day. They ain't gonna fight, but listen, plenty. I don't know why people. I don't know why so many people because it's more more people than not are saying you know they don't want to see that like him and Charlotte Mel are never gonna fight and. You know, he don't want that. That's not going to happen. I know, I know, I know they have the same trainer. And I know, I know Derek said no. But, and I know Charlo said no. I know Mel said no. Nah, you know, he's not going to fight Spence. I know he said that. But I also know that my good brother Spence said, yeah, I'll fight him if it's right. If the money right, yeah, I'll fight. And that's what I don't love about, about him. him. Errol ain't gonna pass up no money. No. Not no, not no large bag, because that bag would be a tremendously large bag. That would be the bags of the bags to have for a very long time. That bag will last you a while. 
because we can do that right here in Texas. Them two Texas boys, people would be flying Man. from all over the spaces for that fight. Do you know how huge that could be? Do you know how absolutely humongous that could be? Let's like do it on they, they could have one fight in Dallas. They could have one fight in Houston. And no, then I'll, they could have the fight from them. That's it. Say it again. I only need one fight from them. Just no, one. No, I need a trilogy. I need one in Houston. I need one in Dallas. And then I need the third one in Vegas. Do you know how no. much money they could have? Do you no, know how they much? Could. Oh, my God. They could. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Errol does better when he fighting people he don't like. Ugas was a casualty of war. He had to come out and show everybody that y'all stop fucking playing with me. So Ugas had to be the one that got beat up like that. It was unintentional. <laughs> now, he might have beat Ugas up like that because of Ugas's trainer and the shit that he was saying, but Ugas himself didn't deserve that. <laughs> what he got, that should like that's how he gonna have to do Budrick, like on some real shit. And that's why Bud don't want to fight him because Ugas be Budrick. And I know y'all try to say, oh, that was in the amateurs, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. But did motherfucking um Budrick want to revisit Ugas? Never His trainer him. said they wasn't doing that shit. He said no. So for Budrick to get beat by Ugas, not once, but twice, and Errol beat the fuck out of Ugas, I would have been like, you know, mm, you want some of this too, man? No. Uh, I'm going to go head to the house, tuck my fucking chains, grab my purse, throw it over the corner of my, my damn arm, and lift. I would have sashayed away. Sashay. Because it's sashayed away. Ain't no way you going to catch me out there like that. I don't think it matters to EJ who he fights. Y'all could be cool as hell because he beat, he beat, he beat, he beat, uh, um, um, what is his name? Peterson? Is it Peterson? Mm -hmm. Him and Peterson are super cool. We're super cool. He beat that man up like he didn't know him. He beat him up like he was somebody off the street that he didn't know. And I mean, beat him up. That was probably the best. That fight probably is the best I've seen Errol Spence. No. That Lamont Peterson fight? I don't know, friend. Ukas is up there for me. That was good, but he had a little lapse in judgment. In the fight with Lamont Peterson, Lamont it was nothing he could. He was taking punches, but he was just walking right through them. And he just, he was in phenomenal shape. His body looked great, but he just was, that was his first defense. He had just won his belts off of, um, uh, his belt off of Kell Brook. And so that was his first title. That was his first uh, title defense. And he, he went in there and he fought that fight. Like I am the king of 147. Fuck what they told you. Fuck what you heard. Fuck anything else that you may have been persuaded by. I am it at 147. And you're going to have to see me otherwise. If you think otherwise, you're going to have to come see me. And this me right here, this that, that, that AJ, didn't nobody want to see that man. Didn't nobody want to see that man. Didn't nobody want to see that man. That man in that ring that day, that was probably the best version of Errol. So he was crisp. He was he was crisp. He was very crisp. He had an extra layer of confidence because he had won the belt over in the UK. And, and that was his homie. That was his friend. He beat him up so bad, though. Oh, Lord, he beat him up so bad. He beat him up so bad. Oh, he beat him up so bad. It was, ooh. go back and watch that fight. Go back and watch that fight. And the Ugas fight was great. But the way he beat up on Lamont Peterson, this is how you know he beat up on Lamont Peterson. The next fight Lamont Peterson had was with Lippinitz. 
And that's when he retired. He he really retired after that arrow fight. He shouldn't have taken that lip in this fight because that was all she wrote. That was all she wrote. That's when, that was it. That was it. That was when the, man, that was the legend of EJ in my mind was born when he beat up on the Mon Peterson like that. He kicked his ass and that's his homeboy. So I could just imagine <laughs> what kind of hurting he going to put on Terrence Crawford if ever they get in the ring, which is why I have to go back to what you said many months and many moons ago, which was, you don't think this fight's never going to happen. But they never wanted that smoke, man. And when Errol told him he was too light in the ass, he had already sized that man up. Drink more water. Don't you come in here with that bullshit talking about Lamont was washed because you give all praises to Allah, Jesus, and anybody else when you're talking about Bud's victory over Sean Porter. Shut up. Shut up. Sean Porter, Kevin Shut up. Brooke, and the beat ass boy. Shut up. All the people, all them folks. Don't yeah. you come in here with that shit. Don't you come in here with that shit, Drink. Now, I don't normally bother you. I let you make it. But don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Drink. Don't you do that. Okay. Um, friend, is there anything else that you want to say to the good people this evening? I just really want to tell y'all, thank y'all. Um, my birthdays is normally kind of like not really a big deal. Y'all really came in here. It's not my baby make it look. V make my baby, my birthday every year a really big deal. Remember last year, he took me to Dallas. I spent the night out there and viewed over the city for the evening. It was beautiful. very nice. I remember the picture. But not everybody makes my birthday a big deal. So besides my baby, y'all came in here and y'all showed me so much love. And I appreciate y'all so much, like on a way that I can't describe to y'all. Thank y'all for coming in here and listening to me rant in my drunken rage for my birthday because I enjoyed myself. Um, I, I do believe that um, we'll be back in here Sunday to discuss the the whatever fiasco happens with Loma and whoever else. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, um, I thank y'all again, everybody. I appreciate y'all so much for coming in here, hanging out with us. Um, be safe in these streets this weekend because y'all know these folks ain't got no sense. I see you reading it and I read it too. Budrick, what I want you to do is take that comment, ball it up, and stick it in Bo Max belly button. Y'all have a good night. I I'm think, done, done. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I missed Raider Time's super chat. Salute, Queens. Thank you, Raider Time. That's actually what I was trying to do was go back and see if I had missed any Super Chats. And then I did see that comment by Drink More Water. Drink Honey uh, Hush. Go put that shit in Bo Mac Belly Button where y'all put everything else. Why yeah. in there, dig out that fucking revised contract and have Bud sign that bitch and send it back with all your belly button dust on it. Just get it back to him. You know that's... Okay, I'm not gonna even. Hey, Jason. No, no, I don't. Don't ruin my damn. Jason, you leave. Black is get, get your way. Your ass ain't coming back here next week either. No, I'm joking. No. I'm not eating that fucking shit. No, Jason. I'm gonna have to treat my friend to a nice, well done. Well, I don't want to say well done, but nicely prepared chicken breast cutlet or some shit like that. Cause. Yeah, yes. some french fries. Y'all going to stop judging me, you damn... Uh, I don't want to call you by your names. Did you say I french fries? You. I will take a french... Watch, VJ going to have something smart to say in a minute. And then I'm going to have to cuss everybody out before we leave. No, so. we're not. No cussing. No more cussing. No, no. no. Friend, okay. I want you to enjoy... 
the hell out of your birthday. I'll be calling you first thing in the morning to sing. I'm getting my vocal cords prepared this evening. Me, 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 me. I'm going to call you in the morning to sing the happy birthday song. So be ready. Answer the phone and um, enjoy your weekend. VJ, I hope you have something planned really nice for my friend. She deserves it all. And the rest of y'all have a funky good time this weekend. Be safe. Like my friend said, if you're somewhere where the weather is cutting up like we are, be extremely safe because folks can't drive in the rain around these parts. Um, but if you're celebrating uh, homecomings or something like that, like I'm about to be doing, have a funky good time. But please be safe. Y'all be safe. Utilize your Uber and your Lyft apps if you have to. Okay. We don't want no DWIs. We don't want no DUIs. We don't want no hitting folks and none of that foolishness. Okay. Because we grown and we make good decisions. Okay. All right. Except for you, Boxiana. You make all the wild, crazy decisions you want to because it's your birthday. Okay. All right. I'm finna go stomp on this nigga's feet, is what I'm finna go do. Friend. <laughs> Pisses me off. Friend. Demetrius Bright came through. We got one last super chat. He said, Salute, Queens. Happy birthday, Boxiana. Thank you. Bye, drink. We love you with your crazy self. Bye. Y'all have a great, great time and we will see y'all next week ain't no telling what kind of shenanigans we gonna get next week um blk seems to have uh more signings coming to us so we'll see what next week holds and we'll talk about it on friday y'all be good peace